Hi family, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my flapjack. So I'll need one kilo of oats. One kilo of oats there. I'll need two and a half grams of sugar. Two and a half golden strap. And two and a half brown sugar. Guys, I'll need my baking paper, my stick, of course my bowl to mix them. I'll need one kilo of butter, and of course my chocolates. I'll be putting some chocolates on top. So let's start by. Heating our butter in the microwave for a little bit to melt. But before that, I'll put the um, I'll put the syrup in. Two and a half grams of syrup, golden syrup. This one here. See that, guys? Put it in this container. With butter, two and a half grams of sugar in there as well. And I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to melt this in the microwave just a little bit, then I can mix it with whites. In the microwave, I'm going to be make, putting that. So, I've melted my butter, sugar, and golden syrup in the butter all together. So, I'll give it a bit of mix, guys. Of course, you can put hot water in the pan and Sit this container in that hot water in the pan and let it melt that way. But I had it like two minutes in the microwave to melt my mixture of syrup, butter, and the sugar quicker. So in my bowl, I'm going to go in with my oats, one kilo of oats. Can use half and reduce the ingredients you put in definitely but I won't use a kilo so I'll go right with two and a half grams of sugar and two and a half grams of syrup then with a kilo of butter so I'll get all my mixture in my bowl I like my frog jack guys. Do you like frog jack? Comment down and let me know if you've been making frog jack and if you like them. So I'm going to go in with one teaspoon of cocoa. I like that, that brownish color. So just one level teaspoon of cocoa. This one guys. So Then I'll mix it. That gives it like a nice good brownish color. I'll mix it until it's all drenched in that butter and all mixture is mixed together. Throats guys, but I like to make quite enough and to give some to my neighbors so put some chocolate on top and to be lovely. I like sharing. I think sharing is caring. So go go on and uh, subscribe guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And hit that notification bell. 
So when I upload another video like this one, making some crop jack, I'm making some rock bands, I'm making some rock bands, I'll do it next time. So you can see that video straight away. So anyway, I'll keep mixing this until it's all mixed together well. So I went ahead guys and mixed all my mix to get mixture together and it's all mixed nicely the consistency can make any consistency I like them not so soft and not so hard just in between so I put my tray here with my baking tray on I put butter on a baking tray and then I'm going to put my crop jack mix. It's a big tray, guys. So depends if your tray is small or big. I like them quite deep as well, not so thin. And not so big as they are. Just nice deep frap jack. I like my frap jack with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. It's only a bit of chocolate on. guys don't forget to check my video that I uploaded last time for how I did cook my toad in a hole last time I cooked my toad in a hole comment down and tell me what you think about that video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you've been cooking toad in a hole let me know as well in the comments Share yeah, with me in the comments, engage with me in the comments, guys. I like sharing, I like to see your comments. Thank you for stopping by and watch my videos, guys. It means a lot, it means the whole world. Thank you for subscribing to my channel as well. Everyone of you means a lot to me. If it wasn't of you, I wouldn't be making a, a channel. But I just made this channel so I can share with you what I do with different DIYs and all that, guys. I could not just make a channel and watch it myself. But I just made it so I can watch it with you, so I can share with you with my experience with different things. Okay guys? So today it's a frap jack video guys. So my frap jack is all laid down nice and flat and it's going to go in the oven. Guys. Nice. Come with me. In the oven. So I will stick it in the oven on gas six. Guys, I'm doing six, and my oven is already on. So because I'm cooking the bacon side, but it's on six and between six and five, and I let that cook for half an hour to. 45 minutes and my frap jack, I'll take it out, let it cool down, I'll melt the chocolate and I'll put the chocolate on top. But I'll show you all that process guys, okay? Hi guys, welcome back. So we're going to check and see if our chocolate is ready. Be applied on our frap jack. Okay, guys. Ta-da! There we 
there you go. Put this on, put this one on. And you take it out there. Put it across on the bottom because it's in water. So our chocolate. You see that guys? It makes nice and natural. Instead, like I say, you can put it in the microwave, but I think it makes lovely when you put when you melt it in hot water in a bowl and put the tea towel on top, track that heat in, and it just melts nicely. So, see now, our chocolate is all ready to be applied on a prop jack. That there. So, we have all slapped on. Slide it on. I like a bit of chocolate. So, I put four bars in this bowl and it will all end up on here. Slide it on. From this here to work it on all over. Whatever is left, you may be a little bit. I'll keep it for my boy when he comes back from school. He'll be scooping the bowl because once he knows I've been making flop jacks and I haven't left for him some chocolates on a plate, he won't have problems. So, made enough. So, work it on all over all the corners. Because you want that nice deep chocolate on. Lovely bite when you get a piece of this flapjack. See now, guys? All covered. So four bars was just a good number. You can go ahead, do a bit of design you want. Like so that's all our chocolate on, guys. You see that? So I'm going to go ahead, put this in the fridge for half an hour. Then it will be nice and hard. You can leave it out to cool down itself, but I'll put it in the fridge, then it's faster. Because I really want a piece of this flap jack. I'm going to stick it in the fridge and I will show you when it's all done. I'll cut it up and show you. Hi guys, welcome back. Our chocolate is all dry on our flap jack, and we're going to slice our Flapjack. Now, okay, guys. All nice and hard. It's been in the fridge for forty-five minutes, and it's nice and hard. So, you just slice it. One, two, three, four, five, five rows. one on top so it's not all squashed together so Right? And like when all squashes 
two pieces. So press down the bottom, top it like like that. Keep pressing there. And next row. I like them big chunk ones, guys. Deep when you get it done. It's nice with a cup of coffee. See this, guys? So I do, I'll put them like that. I put them, them guys, so if I give two to my neighbors, each one of my neighbors have two tall pieces that now it's a big, nice slice. See that, guys? And your fracture is nice and done. Not so hard, not so soft, just nice moisture. So what I'll do, I'll just take all out and put in my bowl. It will just come nicely and be lovely. Okay guys. Absolutely. I like them when they are cold and nice room temperature. They are so good. So that's all guys for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe for my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I like sharing what I do. I'm not a chef, but I just do a few things for myself. And uh, whenever I cook something, I share with you guys. And when you stop by and watch my video, it means the whole world. So thank you so much again to all my subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone that stopped by and watched my videos. It means a lot. And again, I'll see you in my another video then. Stay positive and be brave. Have a good night. Comment down as well to let me know if you're going to make them fracture. That's on this now. Um, let me know if you're going to make your fracture. As you can see, chocolate nice thick tone, nice and dry. Which ingredient do you, you add in your frap jar? And let me know, guys. See the end bit, nice and brown. So let me know how you make your frap jar and if you're going to make some with chocolate or the plain ones. Which one do you like? Do you like chocolate one or do you like the plain ones? Thank you, guys. Stay safe and keep positive all the time. Thank you. So this is our frap jack done guys. There's nice chocolate on top as you can see. So tell me if you, um let me know if in the comments if you've been making a frap jack guys if you want to try and make some if you like frap jack which one do you like the plain one or with the one with the chocolate on? As I said before, I made roads. I wish you near here. You could have a piece with your cup of tea. And um, comment down, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video if you think there's somebody who will be wanting to make some frog jacks with chocolate on or with the plain ones. Let me know in a comment, guys. So... I'll let you go and stay blessed, guys. I'll see you in my another video. Thank you, guys. Be blessed, you all.